If you plan on dressing up on Wednesday for Halloween, please make sure it is school appropriate. Please make sure your costume does not offend anyone or any group. Thanks, guys. Hey, Scorps, the Geo Bowl is holding a competition November 17th at Oxnard College. We're looking for students to recruit. By joining this club, you can put it on your job and college applications. This year's theme is Our Changing Climate. We will be meeting at lunch every Tuesday in room B2. For any further information, go see Mr. Compos. Okay, students, let's get ready to celebrate El Dia de los Muertos, which is coming up in, uh, in about two weeks. That is November 1st and November 2nd. El Dia de los Muertos is not anything like Halloween. In fact, it is totally the opposite. Uh, on El Dia de los Muertos, we celebrate our um, dead ones, the ones that uh, went to uh, another world, a better world, they say. Um, El Dia de los Muertos is like a family reunion, and it's a day to celebrate uh, between the dead and the live ones. It's, uh, it's a great holiday, and it's becoming even greater in, uh, in the United States, in the Latino community, especially with movies like uh, Coco. So um, uh, Heidi Resnick, our librarian, will be having a display on El Dia de los Muertos. And also um, my Spanish class AP and NS2 and NS3 will be having one display on B3. There's a window, and we're going to have an altar. Thank you, guys. Come and check them out. Thank you. If you plan on dressing up on Wednesday for Halloween, please make sure it is school appropriate. Please make sure your costume does not offend anyone or any group. Thanks, guys. What's up, Scores? Ventura College will be visiting October 30th during fourth period for applications in the College and Career Center. If interested, please sign up in the College and Career Center. Thanks. Hey, students, there's going to be a costume drive hosted by Naturally Green. If you don't have any costumes that don't fit you anymore, go donate them to T8, Ms. Saffron's room. Bring them to T8. Let's go. Costumes. Costumes. Any fall sport athletes interested in participating in boys basketball this season, please come to a mandatory tryout on Thursday, November 1st at 3.15 p.m. If you have any questions, see Coach Smith in C5 at lunch. Be there. Do you want to learn new sport? Do you want to stay in shape? Then come out to the softball fields this Saturday from 11 to 1 p.m. to learn how to play rugby. See you there, Scorps. Hey guys, any students who turn in the free reduced lunch form to the student window? By Halloween, we'll receive a Halloween treat. <laughs> Grazie. I'm Evan Schwears. I'm Isaiah Lazara. And you're watching Scorp Center. Center. Girls freshman tennis unfortunately lost to Simi Valley. However, girls JV and varsity both took dubs against Moore Park. Great job, girls. All levels on football smacked on TO. Freshman yeah. got the dub with 48-0, JV got the dub with 28-0, and our varsity boys got the dub with 58-3. 9-0, let's go. Let's go. Passing it over to my boy Marcus. And our boy Schmidt. To tell you what's going on about tonight. Scorps. Tonight at 7 o'clock, Moore Park College. Grace versus Camarillo, about to be the biggest game of the season, league championship. We're 9-0, come watch us take 10-0. Be there, be square. This week's Athletes of the Week are for football. For varsity, we have Drew Cartier. For JV, we have Angel Pinon. And for water polo, we have Lincoln Hall for varsity. For JV, Wyatt Waller. And for Dolph, Kaden Epstein. Congratulations, guys. Mason. Yeah, what's up? You know what we should do for Riku, what? What? So you know how the blood drive's coming up? Yeah. Let's do a blood drive challenge. I donated. I didn't donate. All right, let's do a blood drive challenge. Okay, cool. Spicy noodle challenge? Spicy noodle. I like spicy noodle. You're watching Weekly What? Weekly What? <laughs> All right, so uh, sorry we couldn't get any audio for this video, so. Uh, I'm Ryan. Uh, Mason, we're gonna do a voiceover for this? Yeah, so uh, we're gonna do a professional commentary. Basically, it's, we're just explaining everything that happens as it happens. Yeah, uh, so this is a spicy noodle challenge for the blood drive. And uh, by doing this, we uh, challenge Pacifica and Real Mesa to do the same thing. 
So everyone, please enjoy. Look at this bite by Ryan Fionn. Oh, wonderful, wonderful performance. Absolutely phenomenal. Oh, phenomenal. Mason Brown is going for the bite. Let me twindle, twindle, Ryan twindle Brown, the noodles. Twindle, twindle, twindle. Oh, oh, Ryan oh, Fionn. Oh, Ryan oh, with the great. spice. Oh, Mason's uh, like... Uh, <laughs> All right, all right, give me more, give me more, give me more. Give me more, give me more. Oh, 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 oh. Ryan is requesting Mason goes. Oh, Ryan is having a very hard time oh, with these Ryan noodles. Oh, oh, and take a look over on your left oh, hand side, Mr. Mr. Staples. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Staples is a big boy, oh, munches the noodles. Oh, 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 oh Ryan fell oh, with the big boy. <laughs> Ryan is munching. Mason goes for the bite. He's like, how many noodles does he have? Oh, I don't know. Ryan fell is like, oh my god. They have so many noodles left. Swin, spin, Mason, please eat more some noodles. Let's go. The challenge is over. My name is Mr. Staples, and we have one. Man, come on, man. Why do you lose? Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this uh, little episode of Weekly What, a.k.a. Blood Drive. Um, so, again, we do challenge uh, Pacifica and Real Mesa. Uh, by the way, uh, just donate blood because by donating blood, you are donating blood. So donate blood, please. Thank you. Goodbye.